This week on Sail Away. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. I'm not nervous. You're not nervous? I'm just nervous about like, I don't know, them kicking us out or whatever. Well, they'll just kick us out. We'll come back tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Well, let's just do this. Let's just see what happens. Okay. To vax or not to vax? Surprisingly for many these days, that's the question. For us, it most definitely wasn't. Probably gonna end up. Short trip. Didn't work. We're uh, trying for the shot second time. Try to. Let's go get vaccinated! The question for us was, as foreigners traveling indefinitely a long way from our home country, how would we get one? It'll be worth it, even if we have to get the video out late. Do what we gotta do. Save the world! Not save the world! <laughs> We'll be one step closer with a vaccine so that people can't get sick. And we can go back to Ohio and visit Nona and Grandpa. But answering that question would require a lot of time, energy, and determination. All right, well, that was the fail, unfortunately. Ever wish you could escape normal life and experience more of the world? So meet me on that island. Well, we did just that. We sold everything we owned on dry land and sailed away. Promise me that we'll sail away. Now we are roaming the planet in search of new adventures and sharing it with you every week. Just promise me that we'll sail away. So hit subscribe and escape normal with us. I'll be yours forevermore. Come on, it's just that little button down there. That's it. If the history of success and science of vaccines wasn't enough to convince us, life with a polio survivor was. My mother was stricken at age 12, two months before the historic polio vaccine was invented. The effects of that disease took a gradual toll that ruined her body by her elder years. Growing up, I saw every day the fate that vaccine saved millions of people from. And the good that vaccines have done since then is immeasurable. But while vaccines in general have never been a question for ourselves and for rivers, getting this one would pose some very clear hurdles. Well, I was reading random news articles that I got distracted by, but now we're registering for vaccines. And uh, we should get them, probably. It's a little hard to, to get the the vaccines because we're foreigners every place we go. We're, we're pretty social distanced and we're trying to be careful, but here in St. Martin, I mean, it's just kind of like normal life without COVID almost. I mean, some people are wearing masks, workers in restaurants and bars kind of wear them. I mean, they have them on when you walk in and then they sort of take them off and then half the people behind the bar have them off and it's just really laxed here. Um, and it's nice, it's fun, but I don't know, it's making me pretty nervous. Me particularly, I have a pre-existing condition where it could maybe be bad if I got COVID. I don't know for sure. Our friends on Sirius are from Australia, uh, and Rob is particularly good at <laughs> figuring out detail-oriented stuff like this, how to get the vaccines here and there. We know some other cruisers that have gotten them here. They got turned down at one clinic because they weren't residents, but it kind of sounds like the norm right now is they're giving them to anybody because they don't want an outbreak like Curacao has going right now. And they're kind of on the same path. So they're trying to just get everybody vaccinated and we're gonna, we're gonna go get ours as well. So yeah, we're gonna get these registrations filled out and go get the car keys from Rob. And I don't know what time we're going to go, but we're going to go see what happens. So maybe we'll get stuck with a vaccine today. It'd be really cool. It'd make me feel a lot better. Yes. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. I'm not nervous. You're not nervous? No. I'm not nervous about getting a shot. I've gotten shots like a bazillion times. No, I think that rum punch really helps. I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling fine. I don't care. I'm just nervous about like, I don't know, them kicking us out or whatever. They'll just kick us out. We'll go up and survive. Then we'll come back tomorrow. Yeah, okay. I guess that's valid. Well, let's just do this. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Getting out.
short trip. Didn't work. We couldn't take our shots. We had to be here six months, they said. And so the journey began. With many of the residents of the islands slow to go get their vaccines, the pattern we'd seen had been a hard no to any outsiders. Eventually followed by a shrug and an unofficial, sure, why not, we've got extra. Ice cream shop. Can I get an ice cream sundae with nuts? Fingers crossed St. Martin would follow suit. Thank you. Mm. We're uh, trying for the shot second time. Try to. We're gonna go walk. This one we don't have to take the car. And it's kind of supposed to be less questions asked. It's like a mobile, it's like a mobile in the clinic that they move around and do vaccines like every week, I guess. Yeah. And then it's on the French side. And the French side is generally more lax about everything. I figure we might as well try. Let's go get vaccinated! But first, breakfast. You want chocolate cookies? That's yeah, not breakfast. Cookies with bacon? We are walking this time. Pretty good. You like that coffee? Yeah, I It's hot. It's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. So we're going to look all nice and sweaty and gross by the time we get there. Don't drink all my coffee. Shut on your shoulder. That's right. We got our first vaccination. <laughs> it worked. We weren't sure it was going to work at first. There was a lot of discussion on it. Not, not with us. Not with us. With yeah. the doctors. A lot of discussion in the back room in French. Yeah. But yeah, but, they uh, ultimately gave it to us. We, uh, understand their regulations and all that and we are all for working within those but we also know that sometimes they have an excess of vaccines and if that's the case obviously they should give them to anybody that wants or needs them because you know i think it's more what happened with us i think it, we waited till about the time that they yeah yeah, they, Shut down. they did have a sit for a little bit of wait while some other people got there, so I think it was sort of a, yeah, let's just make sure we get a mouth kind of deal. But, uh, yeah, number one in the books. we got to wait four weeks for the next one. Woohoo! Now we're skating our way back. It's really hot. It's really hot. Let's get back to the I'm Let's go get a good drink someplace. Get a fruit juice or something. Fruit punch! Yeah, let's go get a fruit punch. All right, it's uh, almost noon. Day mm -hmm. after our shots, did you yes. grow a second arm? A, it feels a, like I did. A, a third arm? <laughs> a fourth arm? <laughs> it, I mean, it hurts. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't notice. I think we both kind of were like, oh, I think maybe I feel uh, kind of weird. Oh, I kind of got oh, kind of achy. Oh, do I have a headache? But I think it was just us psyching ourselves out. Other than that, no. I'm good. I don't think I have COVID. I mean, you have a little bit. I mean, I do have a little bit, I guess, technically, right? <laughs> My attitude improved dramatically yesterday. It just made me really happy to have gotten our first shot. I'll take off my band-aid. How's it look? I mean, I don't, I don't really see anything. Cool. It's just like a little red just because you had a band-aid on it, but... Yeah. Cool! No. There's our, uh, shot update. You're good boy, Zeke. We'll be back in a little bit. Guard dog. So with one shot down and one to go, and feeling right about 70% less anxious about the COVID situation around us, it was time for life to go on as usual for four more weeks. Yeah. 
You guys are gonna be really amused when you see our lunch. We've realized since being here how much we love French food. And uh, we found a lot of cool restaurants to, to check out. And there's just this one little spot that we found that <laughs> is just the best we've we've come across so far. We can't wait for you guys to see it. I think you're gonna be blown away. All kidding aside, when we lived on land, we didn't eat a lot of fast food and almost never ate at McDonald's. But coming across one like this in a foreign country was surprisingly inviting and comforting. And of course, there's the playground. Thank you. So this is obviously our primary reason for this visit. And I don't know, it's just kind of novel to eat a Big Mac in a French country. <laughs> We haven't had fast food and since you were small. No. Get the action view. Yeah, and go and break. Take it around. Whoa. Okay. Are you ready? It's gonna be fun. Here I go. The reason we found that McDonald's is it was located conveniently next to the Super U, the big French supermarket that quickly became our favorite on the island. No, we couldn't read most of the labels, but it was all so good it really didn't matter. I know it's tough to read those prices, but if you look closely, that's really good French wine for about four or five bucks. Today's a big day, and we get to go get our second COVID shot. Hopefully we don't have too much of a reaction because it is also a work day for me and I have to get a video done. But it'll be worth it, even if we have to get the video out late. Do what we gotta do. Save the world. Not save the world. <laughs> Why not? We can't even save the world. We'll be one step closer with a vaccine so that people can't get sick. Yeah. And we can go back to Ohio and visit Nona and Grandpa. That'll be really cool, huh? Just excited! I'm very stoked. In place of the rotating clinic locations, St. Martin eventually set up one dedicated location, which basically looked like a field hospital. It was kind of a hike for us, but we really didn't care. After over a year of the COVID drama, we felt really fortunate to be getting our second vaccine. Bonjour. 
All right, well, that was a fail, unfortunately. They were all very French-speaking. I should say we are not French-speaking, and uh, they didn't have uh, somebody who was particularly good at English. The little lady was not too bad. So it took a little while to figure out what the problem was exactly. And I'm still not sure, but we have to come back next Saturday at 4 p.m., and that's when they'll have shot two for Moderna. But I didn't really grasp if it was just out or what. So we'll be at six weeks when we get our second shot, which is no big deal. We're just kind of getting to the point where we're ready to go. <laughs> just got a, a phone call that um, while I was working in the Eric and Rivers went and took feet for a walk with their skateboards. And it looks like one of the skateboards took a dive off the pier. So hopefully this handy dandy lobster lasso that we've never actually used for a lobster comes in handy. Here they come now, pick me up. Okay. Okay, I see it. I don't think you did it. I hope so. Yay! <laughs> Okay. Oh. Good time. <laughs> All right, so we are about four days out from hopefully leaving St. Martin and going to the U.S. Virgin Islands. Today is Saturday. No, today is Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday and we have our, hopefully our second shot. From everything I've read, it is tomorrow. For sure, 100%, we will get our second shot. We've got a couple other things, obviously, to do to check out. We gotta go to customs and we just mostly have to get ready and do all the things that we, we normally have to do. But Eric went out today at one o'clock and it is currently almost five. And uh, he and another boat, one of our buddy boats, the guys went out to go grocery shopping. And you know, it's been, it's been some hours now and I've had a little bit of text conversation. It sounds like they ended up at something kind of like a Costco and I'm a little worried about what Eric's bringing back. It's only a day to St. Thomas from here. So it's not like we really needed that much, but um, we'll be excited to show you what all he got. So here's my question to you. Can you trust two guys to go provision shopping all by themselves? We need a dock cart. Really? We're not gonna need snacks or booze until we get to Puerto Rico at least. <laughs> And now I ask you, did I do a kick-ass job or what? How many ounces is that? Um, 15 kilos. Today, we kind of start the, yeah, I guess yesterday, we kind of started the process of leaving St. Martin, which we're pretty sad about, actually. We're happy to get going again. We're ready to actually revisit a place for the first time in our travels. We'll be going back to the USVI, and we're going to just kind of hit some of the places we remember and liked when we were there. So, not a big, long stop at USVI. 
uh, before we move on to the Spanish Virgin Islands. But leaving St. Martin, and it has been probably our favorite stop. Just been such cool culture and such nice people. We were surprised how much we enjoyed like being around the French language and French food is awesome. I don't know if I got that, but that was a frigate bird carrying a pretty big, long, skinny fish. Anyway, really liked it here and definitely plan to come back. Right now we're in Grand Casse and I, don't, I feel like we haven't shown you enough of Grand Casse, uh, so we'll have to come back and show you more. But we were here sort of enjoying our last few days hanging out with Cirrus, who have become some of our best friends that we've made as we've been doing this. And, you know, we don't always get the cameras out when we're doing that kind of stuff because we're in the moment. And, uh, man, we're going to be sad to leave those guys. They're heading to Bonaire. Anyway, we have to get up, move back to Marigo Bay because we have our second vaccination shot, hopefully, this morning. And that's really kind of our last to do uh, before we head off. Onward! Ho! Got our fancy new anchor chain attached to our nice new windlass. And Lauren drove last time, so she hasn't even worked it yet. Can't wait for her to try it. She's usually the one that has to suffer all the skipping and clanking and dirt flying everywhere. It's gonna be her special treat to take up the anchor today. You ready? Do you want to use the remote? Oh my gosh. Just for fun? I don't even know. Yes! Yes! That's work. So sweet! Not skipping a link, man. Awesome. All right, I guess I'll go back and drive. It's a little thing, Gina. Like just pulling up your anchor without a uh, lot of Something floating in the water. A baguette. A baguette. Uh, oh, there's two of them. Two baguettes. Three baguettes. Three baguettes. Three baguettes. Oh, there's a lot of baguettes. You know, the sheer amount of unused baguettes that probably come off this island. Yeah. One of them we ran over. Yeah. We ran over it? I don't think that would get snagged in the drop. They're pretty tough when they're rolling over. drink. Chug it. It's just water. I figured we probably shouldn't chug some kind of alcohol before uh, before we go and get our shots. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll save the, the real passage drink for after the vaccination. <laughs> yeah. We'll call it a passignation drink. <laughs> Perfect. Rivers, you look so stylish. Come do a model pose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more time. Oh, I hope it's the last time. God, let's get this. I want. I just want it. I want it so bad. And with no small amount of anxiety, we returned. <laughs> so yours is bleeding. Then. One is bleeding a little bit. So you needed a bandaid. Mine puffed up all weird. It's like a. And when it did it, she went bizarre. 
which doesn't seem good. But, you know, mine burned for, for a couple minutes, but it feels okay now. Oh, well, there we go. I'll test this shawl. The vaccine is shawl COVID-19. And it's so fresh. Hopefully that won't cause any problems anyway. Nice. Alright, well that was uh, pretty simple. Whew. Bye bye. Vaccinated. So it's Saturday. We just got the vaccine and we want to leave on Monday. Is that possible? So now the question is will either of us get the symptoms and be get our ass kicked for the next day or so. So, a couple things we have left to do, we're gonna try and do right now. <laughs> Whose ass will be kicked? Will it be mine? Will it be yours? Will it be both? Will it be nobody? Hopefully nobody, because I don't know about him taking care of us. It's the day after our second shot, and the day before we leave. I will say I got it worse than Eric. I had the chills and the fever of like 101.4 last night. Then I've got a low grade fever now. I feel like I was better during the day, but uh, no, I don't know. I don't know if it was like a sundown thing or not, but whatever. Feeling really, really ready to leave. But Eric is taking over dinner tonight since yeah. I'm not in my tip top form. Going solid old school Midwest tonight. Hamburger gravy, mashed potatoes. No salad. We didn't eat a lot of those, but we are today. Do you love salad? Rivers love salad. Home cooking. Just like Mama made. I want this. Ranch. What? 